And welcome back to our live coverage here from practice court one, as not only do we have the world number one, Rafa Nadal, but we also have the world number three, Juan Martin Del Potro. Practicing side by side here. They'll of course be facing off in the semifinals to come tomorrow right next door in Arthur. Nadal's been out here since a little after noon Eastern, about an hour out here so far for the world number one, Rafa Nadal, just stepping out to the court. Juan Martin Del Potro, 29 years old, has two titles on the season. He won the Acapulco title, defeating Anderson in the final. Also won the Masters 1000 in Indian Wells, where he saved a couple of match points and defeated then world number one Roger Federer. That is first Masters 1000 crown. Martin Del Potro, the man they call the Tower of Tandil, of course, won the 2009 U.S. Open title. That his first and remains his only Grand Slam. Del Potro, of course, hindered by so many injuries since that 2009 title. He was unable to come out and try and defend that title due to wrist surgery, that one of four wrist surgeries that Del Potro has had in his career. Such debilitating injuries for one of the biggest ball strikers in the game. Juan Martin Del Potro with a big serve and a laser forehand that he can use to end points very, very quickly. You see him out there with his coach, Sebastian Prieto, a former pro as well. Six, six, six. Rafa Nadal and Juan Martin Del Potro practicing side by side as they prepare for each other that match to come tomorrow. Of course, it is Women's Semifinals Day here at the U.S. Open. Make sure you stay tuned with us later today at 4 p.m. Eastern as we bring you the live practice coverage of Serena Williams, Anastasia Sevastova, Madison Keys, and Naomi Osaka as they each try to clinch a spot in the U.S. Open final. Juan Martin Del Potro was also a finalist this year in Auckland and Los Cabos as well. He was a semi-finalist at the Masters 1000 in Miami, losing to John Isner. That ended up becoming John Isner's first Masters 1000 title. He was also a semi-finalist at Roland Garros losing to the man to his left, Rafa Nadal. Okay. Rafa Nadal and Juan Martin Del Potro have faced off 16 times in their career, Nadal leading the head-to-head -head 11 to 5, Nadal winning the last three matchups as well. Del Potro has not defeated the world number one, Rafa Nadal, since 2016 at the Rio Olympic Games. That a three-set battle, 7-6 in the third for Juan Martin Del Potro. They've played twice this season, Rafa Nadal winning in the Wimbledon quarterfinals. That a Five-set thriller, 6-4 in the fifth after Del Potro was up two sets to one. They also faced off in the semifinals at Roland Garros with Rafa Nadal winning in much easier fashion that a three-set route of Del Potro. Juan Martin Del Potro had played some of the best tennis in the tournament. He had not dropped a set 
until he phased off against John Isner in the quarterfinals when the Let us know in the comments your predictions for each of these semifinal matches to come tomorrow. Juan Martin Del Pocho and Rafa Nadal, as well as Novak Djokovic and Kay Nishikori. Juan Martin Del Pocho's path to the semifinal includes straight set victories over the Qualifier Donald Young, American Dennis Kudla, 31 seed Spaniard Fernando Verdasco, and Croatian Borna Choric, as well as, of course, top ranked American John Isner. Juan Martin Del Pocho is 42 and 10 on the season, 31 and 6 on hard court. As we mentioned, has won two titles this year, 22 in his career. Of course, highlighted by 2009 US Open and this year's Masters 1000 in Indian Wells. That'll win over Roger Federer. That was Juan Martin Del Potro's ninth win in his career over the world number one. That's the most among all active players who have not been ranked number one in the world themselves. Del Potro taking a well-deserved quick break in the shade. We've seen both Rafa Nadal and Juan Martin Del Potro take quite a few breaks during their respective practices. Incredibly warm conditions out here. Currently well over 90 degrees right now with the heat index inching closer towards 100 with humidity of around 70 percent. Difficult conditions, but both of these players incredibly fit coming into the tournament. Holman in the comments picking Delpo to win tomorrow. Katya cheering for Rafa Nadal. Very split responses in the comments for your predictions for the semifinal match to come tomorrow. Del Potro, of course, with a big serve, the big forehand, likes to finish points quickly. Has become a better grinder as his career has gone on, but will like to use that forehand to dictate points, get on offense, and then finish the points from inside the court. Off of, of course, so comfortable deeper behind the baseline, wearing his opponents down, putting heavy ball after heavy ball deep into the court, pushing his opponents back as well. We've seen him play more offensive tennis in this open, however. He's been very comfortable coming to net, but 
we'll see how these points will be structured, which player will be able to enact the patterns that they want to play in this match. Andy in the comments asking, do they play today? They'll be playing tomorrow. Today is women's semifinal day out here at the U.S. Open. That'll be starting in the evening session tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Also the men's doubles semifinals in Arthur Ashe Stadium, including Mike Bryan and Jack Sock, the American duo. See that powerful forehand from Juan Martin Del Potro. Such a clean stroke through the ball. Such easy power. Fantastic racket head speed. These are those long arms to extend through the ball, extending the point of contact, contact and driving the ball. doing a great job of doing what you saw in that last ball there, trying to find any opportunity he can rather than getting an open stance forehand to step into the ball. Both of these players with two of the biggest forehands in tennis history. Martin Del Potro, of course, now at a career high number three in the world. His previous career high was number four in the world, that before many of those wrist surgeries that we mentioned. But Del Potro able to rebound, recover, and rehabilitate, and find his top form once again, and reach a new career high of number three in the world. Of course, we're all excited to see Juan Martin Del Potro playing exceptional tennis again, playing late into the second week of each of the past three Grand Slams. When Del Potro won that 2009 U.S. Open title, he snapped Roger Federer's 40-match win streak here at the U.S. Open. Federer had previously captured the record of most consecutive U.S. Opens, winning from 2004 to 2008 before losing that final to Juan Martin Del Potro. And Federer has not won a U.S. Open since. Pablo in the comments cheering for Juan Martin Del Potro. Always, of course, a fan favorite as well. And you see. See Rafa Nadal there who can't help but gaze at Juan Martin Del Potro, his opponent, who he'll be facing off against tomorrow. Nadal looking as focused as ever for the semifinal battle, looking to repeat as champion here at the U.S. Open. And as Rafa takes what should be his final break of his practice. And Juan Martin Del Potro 
hits a couple of backhands, getting his strokes warmed up to play. We're going to take a break as well, but we'll be back at 4 Eastern for the start of the player practices of the women's semifinals. Serena Williams, Madison Keys, Naomi Osaka, and Anastasia Sevastova, all that and so much more throughout the day. Make sure you keep it locked in with us on U.S. Open social media and at Joey Brander as well. Joey Brander here, your guide throughout the tournament. We'll be right back.